six months later, I released a video known as The Wizard. Now, this video, unlike Piece of Shit, has one like, zero dislikes. It's also the first video of mine, and one of two, that's got copyright. Which means, I had to download the video, not off my channel, but off of YouTube Downloader. So the quality's not going to be as good as it should be, but the video's a piece of shit either way. And it's a remake of a video known as The Faggot. The Faggot is one of the videos, one of the two successful videos that I filmed with the flip camera that I explained in a previous video. And it was the first one I've ever filmed on that camera. And um, basically how it goes is kind of like how it goes in a remake, but it's a well, actually, it's a lot longer than the remake. But anyways, um, <clears throat> the guy wakes up. He's got makeup all over his face. Um, I use this makeup box right here. It looks like a little briefcase, but inside of it is a bunch of... Uh, let's see if we can open this here. Let's see. Oh, right here. If you look inside of it, you got a bunch of crayons and a bunch of paint. And you got pencils, uh, colored pencils. And you got a paintbrush. I lost one of them got a pencil sharpener so basically it's an art kit and we used to use that <laughs> use that for blood or makeup or lipstick and whatever the hell we can really use it for <laughs> oh, Jesus oh the good old days and the guy wakes up and he's looking at the table and it's got a like a picture on it, it says you Ooh, know who it is fag. it's this now this is not the original I, it's pretty damn close to the original, but this is how it basically looked like. This is the picture that's used in the remake, The Wizard. And you see, you can, you got two eyes, a, a dick that's coming, and then a big smile. <laughs> um, <laughs> instead of driving in a car, I drive on the, I used to have this, like, West Coast custom chopper pedal bike, where I basically pedal it. And then once I got to right around this area, I just, I like stopped the bike and I whipped a U-turn and then put put it on a kickstand and locked all badass. And instead of having the Smith & Wesson, I had a Nerf Maverick, which is this, basically this revolver. So here I am walking around with this colorful revolver. I knock on the door and shit and then the guy pops out of nowhere. And of course, um, I call him Woosie Pussy, and then he's like, "Okay, you know what? Let's let's be friends." And then he poisons my drink with cum. We get into this uh, circle jerk around the table where I'm basically, and this is before I knew how to edit or transfer files or anything. So I always did any gun sound effects. So I'm sitting there just. <laughs> And then he came up right behind me. We're both shirtless. Why am I shirtless? And I think this is the only time I say I ever went shirtless. But um, anyway, yeah, so it's getting really fucking gay. <laughs> and I thought it'd be cool. I'm like, let's do some like Metal Gear gun kung fu shit. So I figured we'll have two Nerf guns. And Nerf guns are famous for having attachable parts. Master, the customizable recon and I didn't know there was camera headgear at the time. I didn't have any money for it. So what I did is I hold up the camera. Well, I got a free hand. I walk up to him and I take off the scope and take out the magazine. I try to make it as fast as possible. We redid this shit like 20 times. <laughs> and then he does his shot. It's the same crap that I did, but he's like zooming in and he takes the magazine out and twists my barrel off and throws it away. And then, of course, now our guns are useless. It was so fucking stupid. We get into this fight. <laughs> kind of like in the remake where there's a wrestling fight, but it's way longer, way more boring. I'm doing this Mortal Kombat shit. So I got the camera on the same tripod I'm using right now on a table. I needed music. So I use the Mortal Kombat 1 courtyard music and I'm just I'm like singing along like and then got the round three and it ended up being a tie. He magically disappears, goes on his mountain bike and he's like, see you later, pussy. <laughs> and I'm like, 
He's not gonna get away with this shit. And I try to do this manly voice. Who are you? I get on my little chopper bike and I'm here. And I'm still doing this guy and it's like. <laughs> I'm still doing all that stupid shit. And I went from my driveway right here all the way down to the school, which is. Or all the way down to the track and field, which is about a little over a quarter mile on pedal bikes. We redid that like three fucking times because I wanted to make it as realistically fast as possible like I'm basically on this chopper and I'm going 50 miles per hour so I try to go as fast as I could while filming it with my with one hand and shooting with the other hand and like doing this weird shit I, I don't fucking know it I don't know it looked really stupid um already the video is about eight and a half minutes <laughs> about nine and by the time I shoot him he <laughs> I don't know. I just remember this. He, I shoot him, and there's this uh, big padding thing, like when you pull and vault. Well, it was raining outside, or it just rained outside, so the whole mat was wet, and he just falls back, and he, he splashes on the mat, and his whole back is wet. He's like, damn it, dude. Damn. He's like, I'll, I'll do it. This is when Isaiah was really excited about shit, about filming. So he's like, okay, let's get this done. Instead of being, oh, man, my back is wet. Now I got to go inside and so fall asleep and not film again. <laughs> and I have my gun pointing right at his head. And, and you know, he's on the ground filming. And I got my gun pointing towards the camera and shit. And you see, like, this cloudy sky with, like, the sun at a perfect angle. And it's just shining right on top of him. And all of a sudden I say, Payback's a bitch. And then, you know, you're, you're supposed to see like a, like a crayon fall out. This is supposed to hint, foreshadow towards, you know, some really gay shit. And he wakes up, same shit. He's got this goofy mustache and a unibrow and, <laughs> and facial hair and all this stupid crap on his face. And, and uh, it's the same. He's like, wait. You know who it is? Wait, what's going on here? No! <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that was the funniest shit I've ever filmed. One of the funniest fucking things I ever filmed. The original video was 11 minutes long. Completely unedited, complete shit. I tried to edit the video within the video. Stupid. Doesn't work. Don't do it, kids. It sucks. Your video will blow ass. Um, <laughs> and the only person who's seen it out of me and Isaiah was Michael. Josh never had the chance to see it because I deleted it. And then all of a sudden he came over and he's like, where's the video? Where's this video you made? I'm like, oh, I, I deleted it. Now, I didn't do it because I was being a little hypocritical bitch where I'll sit there and make fun of his videos, but he can't see my video. No, it's just because I needed to make room for another video that I made, the second successful film that I made, which is The Power Rangers. Now, the only, the only reason why I'm mentioning The Power Rangers is because this is where the character over a dickhead came from. This is when I created the character. Basically, we needed a really ridiculous villain, just like in the the show there's a ridiculous villain ah, after 10, years, I'm free. he was in the remake he's not in the original video I didn't come up with the character at the time so anyways now I'm gonna now I'm gonna get to the wizard itself um it's like the original one from the point where the guy wakes up what's this all the way towards the end. We can do it the easy way out of the hallway. But there's about three minutes of explaining the characters. And you get introduced to Daniel Bendover at a nice, nice gay, gay, gay club in a separate universe. You also are introduced to Dickhead. <laughs> I'm making fun of Modern Warfare 2 because Modern Warfare 2 to me was a piece of shit and a disappointment. Those inconsiderate jerks like got the flash! Uh, that fucking sucked. And of course, it's a warp hole to another universe. <laughs> he flushes it down, he's like, no! <laughs> And uh, this is where the video gets boring. 
Um, also, I forgot to explain. In the beginning of the video, Clint explains his story. He somehow put me and the rest of the force out of a job. Now we're sitting here doing desk job. I can't wait to find a man that actually caused some trouble around here for once. From the point where Daniel lands on planet Earth, all the way throughout the entire video, it's a boring, incohesive, reference-having, piece-of-shit mess. Now, the references are not as bad as piece-of-shit, but... Yeah, they're still there. I still use the same references. Established world peace. Don't know who he is. Get up, my boy. From where? Penis! Oh my god! The rest of my videos from the wizard, from after the wizard, they're all fucking great. Um, but yeah, it was just an incoherent piece of shit. I remember. Bruce and his sister watching it for the first time. And of course, you know, they're fucking having a great time with it for the first... Through Clint's explanation and then the the huff and the rub and grind dance scene and all that shit. But as soon as you see the part where I'm like, Oh, too drunk to drive. Like, from there it just gets really fucking stupid and gay. And his sister just walked away and said, Oh, and walked away and Bruce is like, Yeah, anyways... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's that bad. Even even now when I watch it, I don't laugh at it at all, except for, like, the first minute and a half. It's that fucking bad. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's supposed to have gay pun jokes in there. Doing the wireless guy. Now? Yep. Yep. Oh! Ooh! Yeah. Put your hands up, naughty cow! I'm Clint Hall with now, bitches! Clint, I gotta meet up with you sometime later. <laughs> Oh my, what a stunning man. It's supposed to have cool music, so it gets you in the mood for the fucking... Uh... What's he doing? What's he doing? What am I supposed to do with these? Well, I said you're a wizard, so... Uh... Slow-mo was, I had slow-mo shots in here, so, you know, you're supposed to see the slow-mo and then hear the slow-mo sound at the same time. What happened was, is that the video was slow-mo, but the sound that was supposed to be the slow-mo sound was actually delayed to play three minutes after I slowed it down. or resizing really lazy shit job this is the last video with any kind of shit editing in it and I got that coming right out yeah. cheetah hunting really helped delays here this is one big reunion no, no. he was a powerful wizard You probably catch this. I do the gun and the slide actually moves back and forward. It was supposed to be like piece of shit, like after piece of shit. Dickhead comes back, makes a mess again. Um, Price comes in here. You know, I'm supposed to have another story for these characters to be in, and it's just no, it just doesn't fucking work. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just lamer and shit. It's, I mean, it's pretty damn close to the original from the end, or from the part where the guy wakes up with makeup on his face all the way towards the end. It's a, it's a remake of the original with backstories at the beginning. But I don't know what to say about it. I really don't know what to fucking say about it. It's just boring as shit. But anyways, after this video, 
becomes one of the best videos I have, and it's one of the greatest videos I have. <laughs> I fucking love this video. Vietnam, baby. What do you do? I'm a gay wizard. Up there! You're a sentiment guy with your sexuality. We don't accept gays in this lineup. 